Hey everybody, happy Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, Atlanta Sports with Slitta or Slitta here. Hope everybody's having a great Memorial Day weekend, I know it concludes tomorrow. I, for one, am working so all of y'all could have fun. That's how, that's how the life is, that's how responsibility is. So that's, that's also why I value my time when I have my time. Because I don't always get to have my time when I want to have my time. So, hope everybody's having fun, be safe and responsible, and be nice to us y'all. All right, be nice to us. We're here because we, we want y'all to be happy and you guys can have fun while we're working. I wish that was off though, obviously. <laughs> but gotta pay the bills, man. Sitting at home, don't pay the bills. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click the like button, share it to all your media outlets, support the channel. Every way a channel can be supported. And hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39. This is gonna be like one of the little short videos. Uh, the Braves, disappoint me again, man. My goodness gracious. This team is mediocre at home at best. Uh, a wasted bridge pitching performance uh, yesterday by Charlie Morton. Braves blew a lead on Friday night. Now I'm on the verge of losing to where you hiding. Uh, so it couldn't have been a couldn't have been a suckier homestand, which I thought could have been really good. I thought the Braves were going to go five and two on this homestand. You know, take two or three from the Dodgers, split against the Phillies. We got a chance to still split like I originally expected. But we got to win tonight to do it. Um, to lose two or three to the Dodgers and be on the verge of losing three or four to the Phillies, even now, sucks. It does. It really sucks. It, especially when the God damn man. Especially when the expectations are there and were there. Uh, our offense is just so up and down. But like I said, also prior, we're going to go into our slumps. And right now, the Braves pretty much are in their offensive slump and have been in their offensive slump for a week now. You know, they haven't really busted out. The games are close. They're not scoring seven, eight, nine runs like we're so used to seeing. You know, it's because it's a long season. But you had to pick this week to make it a long season, huh? To back up that there, you had to wait till the Dodgers and the Phillies at home, two series that I really wanted to win, and I'm not going to win either one, and I might lose a bet. Another one. This time to where you're hiding. So you couldn't have waited like maybe, uh, maybe against Arizona or something. You know, Arizona and Arizona and uh, Colorado. Let's just say, even though I don't want to lose, but you had to pick this week uh, to, to to tick me off. I appreciate that, but it comes with the territory, y'all. I don't get too up and I don't get too down. But I ain't gonna lie, this is not what I expected this week. So, so hopefully Spencer Strider will gas his 15 strikeouts or whatever and the damn offense can score. I mean, we very well could have lost the first three games of this series. Braves very well could have won the first three games. Every game was decided by what? A run. Braves won by uh, one run. I would know. One or two run or three runs the first night. Had to score in the eighth to do it on Thursday. We lost by, I think, one run yesterday, if I do remember correctly. Two to one, and then on uh, and, you know, on Friday, I think Friday's game was one run. I think I don't even remember. I'm so irritated. But you see what I'm saying? Either of these teams could be up three zip. So, I mean, it just goes with the territory, man. You know, you, you know, when you're a fan, you it's a it's a win for win or a loss for loss. You don't take the wins too serious. You can be happy, but you don't get too excited with the wins. You can be happy. You don't get too down by the losses. You get you, you can get you know irritated, but don't let it linger because it's a long season. But uh, the Braves got to get this offense going, man. Clearly, got to get the offense going. And don't get me started about this bullpen. This bullpen is trash. This bullpen. I, the last time I seen this bullpen so bad was like 2018, 19 or something. I mean, my goodness gracious, I could do a whole video on this bullpen. But it would keep y'all here for a while. So that's all I wanted to say. We'll see what happens tonight. I'm expecting to be on where you're hiding the stream tonight. Games at 7 o'clock. I don't get off until 7. But I do work early tomorrow. Finally get an off day on Tuesday. So I can have my Memorial Day. My Memorial Day party we, party will be on Tuesday. Actually be on Monday. Because Monday I'm out at 4 o'clock. So Monday afternoon, Tuesday. Hopefully the weather's good. I don't know. They say may, rain may come in. We'll have four days of beautiful sunshine. I'll be working. And then when I'm off, then it'll start to rain probably. I mean, that's... That's that goes with the territory, but 
you know, I'm grateful, I'm appreciative, I don't take anything for granted. You know, my wants are my wants, but necessity in real life overtake my wants. I still have my fun, I will continue to have my fun, but it may not always be when I want to, but I will always take uh, take advantage of it when it's here, when I have my opportunity, and, and I will not be uh, unappreciative, so to speak. So that's just how it works. So I'm out, y'all, everybody have a good one. You know the, you know the routine. And uh, Slitta, Atlanta Sports of Slitta. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo!